Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. This week was a really fun pour. It was a simple yet incredibly challenging pour, which was a five color swipe on a 12 inch by 36 stretch canvas gallery wrapped. Um, I brought this canvas out after a very long time in some storage to try out a piece I want to work on for an upcoming market coming up in about uh, three weeks time or so give or take based on the data recording. So I used all folk art color shifting colors this time. And first off was our black flash as my very first color leading into some blue flash. And actually my apologies, this is the blue violet flash first, then blue flash afterwards. So anyhow, this paint was really fun to work with. Um, in the top color, real quick, touching on the black flash as my first color, it's incredibly dark from one side, looks black on one side, and also gold on the other, which is very cool. So I wanted to go lightest, sorry, pardon me, darkest to lightest was my plan. Uh, so I'm going for black flash first, blue violet second, blue flash is here. And from there, we're leading to some purple flash right away. And now with these paints, I was also very careful with how I was getting the paint distributed across the canvas because it was getting very heavy already at this point, only really halfway through the entire canvas. It was getting really dippy in the middle, so I had to be careful with um, how much paint I wanted to pour in the middle, knowing it would kind of cave a little bit, not too much. It was fairly, fairly taut as a canvas and fairly tight. So again, just wanted to be mindful of how much paint overall was on the canvas to begin with. And with this color, this this is the purple flash. Now I think this is probably one of the colors for me that stands out as being a very integral part of this pour because it really made it give some contrast for how this pour stood out. Um, knowing I wanted some, again, darkest to lightest, but this magenta almost look to it gave me the impression that it would be a standard color that gave the rest of the piece some compliments for what it had in, in plan for my swipe. All right, and rounding out my last color is the Aqua Flash on this pour. Now this pour, this, this color, sorry, I'm gonna use with other pours in mind for future projects because it's quite pretty. It has an aqua feel, hence the Aqua Flash name. <laughs> um, but it is quite a nice color and has some really color, really cool color shift in it. Um, now I do, leave, I do leave last the black flash on the very end, simply for coverage. Um, I know I'm going to lose this paint in the end because of how I'm swiping over it, but I wanted to make sure there was paint across the entire canvas from front to back. Okay, and I had mixed these paints on this that I painted, so I wanted to make sure I torched all my bubbles to pop any air bubbles on top, which these metallics can tend to do, which can cause pinholes in your dried results. So um, keeping in mind, if you have a blowtorch or sorry, a, uh, any kind of butane torch or heat gun, popping any cells or air bubbles on top does make for a bit of a better finish when it's all said and done. Okay, now as for my colors, I was very deliberate when I had my, my colors first put down on the canvas in how big my sections were going to be. So I was very cautious with how equal I wanted them to be overall. So just going side to side here, making sure my sides are covered. Again, this deeper one and a half inch canvas is a bit more paint to stretch out, but I wanted to make sure to cover both sides as best I could before I began to tilt. And on top of wanting to get some paint on the sides here, I wanted to make sure I didn't dump too much off the sides initially because of course, we need paint to tilt with and you know get our designs with too. So I was careful with wanting to get some off the sides, knowing I can come back later to get my drips and take care of some, some stuff on the sides there when I was ready. Okay, and here's my last step before my swipe is my cell activator. I mix one part Amsterdam titanium white with two parts North American Floetrol. In addition, I use three to four drops of Penetrol made by Floetrol, which is an additive for um, mixing paints. Now, I used wax paper this week as well as my swipe tool 
and my wife was good enough to give me a hand to make sure all of my white was touching the wax paper. I was afraid with this three foot canvas, if I leaned over too far, I was for sure putting my shirt out of my stomach into this canvas and I would have ruined it. So uh, luckily enough, she was there to give me a hand and looking back on the swipe now, some very cool patterns came out of it. And also I really love how the swipe came across that canvas, giving some really good color right across the board. Now, as cool as this did turn out, I had to be respectful of the painting itself because, again, keeping in mind, this is three feet long. I was very limited to how I could actually manipulate the painting without fearing it would fall off the side of the table. Now, I was also using brand new uh, push pins under my canvas, which were sliding, and it scared me. <laughs> so, again, I was very limited to really up and down side to side with what my swipe intended on being and to be honest that's what I was after so it made some nice U shapes here and pulled some lacing down which I liked to get the ball rolling. And now I did know I needed to go the other way to stretch that that color back out down towards the bottom where my cell activator was. Now I also don't mind that I, I think of cell activator as this paint I can just get rid of because it's only there to make the initial cell reaction in my paints for me. I could care less if that stays or goes, but I want the color to stay as best I can. And again, appreciating how much paint was on this canvas, I was very slow and intentional, not wanting to rush the cells or the lacing to stretch and kind of distort. So it's a bit of a slow go here down to the bottom, but you can see the colors begin to kind of flatten out in the middle there with the purple flash and also just beginning to tilt side to side which caused this S shape in the painting which I think to be honest when we see the end result you'll see why I'm excited with that tilt I made out just by accident. And now I have been very into the iridescent colors this past few weeks which I've really begun to enjoy using. I think the fact they color shift and look different in certain lights is a big draw for me, but I'm curious if you guys happen to use any iridescence in your pores, whether it is um, a regular tube painting or if it's pigments, uh, like the TLP or any kind of other pigments you guys may use in general. So I'm curious to know what you guys may use, and if so, what are your favorites? What are your favorite colors to use? Let me know. Now on this side shot here, you can actually see the S curve I was talking about earlier from my initial, my, my initial tilt leading back into the first third of this, this pour. I'm really just trying to get that white lacing off the corner of the bottom of the painting to make this a bit more symmetrical. And so once this white eventually falls off the corner there, I was really quite happy that the, the black flash, which is the black slash gold color on the end, did give off so much gold color in the opposite direction. Okay, now as I wrap up my tilts here, I wanted to make sure the paint was really just centered. So me knowing that it's in the middle, it'll, it'll just dry more evenly across the board. And as I begin to just put this down, I think this was about it. I was about as far along as I could be, knowing that any more stretching may wreck what I had made. So I was quite happy with this overall look. And going in for a bit of a wet look, there's that gold I love along in with the blue flash, black flash, blue violet flash, purple flash, and aqua flash. The folk art paint is for me really great. Um, again, there's the gold to black view. The violet is really pretty. Uh, and the cell activator made some very, very pretty lacing and cells, and it makes a lot of them. I think that's also why I'm so drawn to this type of paint is I love metallics, I love the cells it creates, and the overall composition and look of this painting was amazing. I just love how this painting turned out overall. I think that the color blend and swipe just worked great. And all in all, what do you guys, what do you guys think? Um, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and click this next playlist here in the top corner and give me some feedback in the comments below. And we will see you again in the next one.